the tomb scene, exactly where did you shoot that and how did you make the boulder and that, that whole scene there? So, uh, so two-part question. The tomb was shot uh, as all practical, all the interiors were in my mom's house. That particular was uh, in a section of the garage. Um, Jason had made up the, the corpses um, out of like foam rubber, uh, of all things. Uh, as for the boulder, that was our most difficult prop. Um, Chris and I started when we were 12 years old trying to tackle it. We stayed up way past our bedtimes <laughs> making this uh, big boulder out of uh, cardboard and crisscross bamboo stalks and duct tape and realized when the sun came up that, well, it was too big to get out of Chris's room. <laughs> kind of illustrates just how young we were when we started. Um, then uh, we tried, okay, boulder number two, weather balloon. Spent 30 bucks, fortune back then, uh, for me, ordering a weather balloon out of the back of a comic. Covered it with paper mache, came down the next morning ready for the second coat, and it had popped. Um, then chicken wire. Cut up my hands, bending chicken wire into this frame, which I was going to subsequently cover with paper mache. Well, Mississippi got hit by a hurricane that summer, and uh, I still have memories of watching helplessly through the window as hurricane way winds buffeted our poor little chicken wire boulder frame and sent it bounding down the lawn, over the hill, into the water. Who knows where it is today? Um, at some point, we tried a, a cable drum. Um, it would be actually more of a, a cylinder than a, a boulder, but it was only three feet high. And yeah, we, it was like, this yeah. looks so bad. Yeah, so that didn't work. Finally, we got wise, and actually, I remember it was my mom who actually su suggested this, uh, that we try, contacted a guy that did, did fiberglass for boats um, to make a fiberglass boulder. And to do that, we dug a hole in his backyard and dropped a plumb line, Jason and I, and scraped out the perimeter of the hole uh, with, this, uh, with this tool at the end of this uh, plumb line. So it was a perfect hemisphere, or as perfect as you can get in soil, and then coated it with uh, fiberglass, and it hardened, so popped out and had a fiberglass hemisphere, repeated the process, joined the two hemispheres into a sphere, and finally at, at about five years at this point, we finally had our six foot high spherical boulder, which uh, we rolled down two 40 foot long untreated telephone poles in my mom's garage made up to look like a cave. So that's how we did the boulder. The ball today. Good question. This boulder has been, man, it, this boulder, it's, it's, we had it for a really long time. We kept it, and uh, it, it uh, didn't fall into as much disrepair as we thought, and it's, it's been kind of sticking around on the front lawn um, of Eric's mom's house, who still lives in the house. Now, Hurricane Katrina, of course, hit the Gulf Coast and wiped out most of everything, you know, like pretty much everything that you've seen in this movie exterior. I mean, it's just wiped everything off the map. Um, and they've since repaired the house. Well, the boulder got pulled away in the floodwaters and disappeared. And we had no idea. And we, we were finally like, OK, well, the boulder is dead. You know, it's, it's finally had its, it's reached its end. Well, like, two, like, you know, like, what was it? You know, a, two neighborhoods over, the, the floodwaters had it had floated on the water and gone over like two neighborhoods and landed in somebody else's yard. A swamp, actually. Or it was a swamp, that's what it was. And so um, uh, they found it and uh, we pulled it back, pushed it back and it's, it's, sitting, there, uh, it's sitting there on, on uh, the back lawn of the house where we shot Raiders. And that's you know, kind of the name of our production company, Rolling Boulder Films. So.